this is what it takes. All right. All right, this is what happens when you've got good fret work, okay? When you seat your frets properly. I saw, uh, and some of you on Facebook and stuff may have seen, I did put a picture of a cigar box guitar uh, on Facebook. It wasn't one of mine. <laughs> um, which had been built, it was put on eBay for sale for 250 up to $300, okay? And the frets were just a freaking joke. Okay, they were absolutely deplorable. They were all over the place. They weren't seated properly. They were uneven. They were just... It was... The, the fact that people are asking for this kind of... They're asking for that, that kind of money on something that is utterly unplayable is just, is, is just completely beyond me. And it just... It saddens me when I think that somebody, some unsuspecting buyer who's just getting into this, into this pastime and into this hobby is going to pick up a guitar that they're going to utterly hate and they're going to never, ever, ever going to buy another cigar box guitar or get into get into it like ever again. It'll be the rare person that decides, hey, listen, I'm going to fix it and I'll do it myself. But the, on the most part, it's, it's, it's just simply people who, are, especially on eBay, people who are starting out, they've never bought a guitar, a cigar box guitar before, they want to give it a go and they get a guitar like that and it's just so... I, I'm ranting on it, guys, because I just think it's it's just it's it's unforgivable to do that to people. It's just it's almost borders on criminal, in my opinion. So that's that's my two cents worth. All right, it takes time to learn how to fret a guitar properly. It takes time. It takes energy. It takes effort. Uh, it takes the right tools. So you know, if you can't fret a guitar properly yet, or get it so that it's going to play in tune all the way up the neck, uh, don't build them. You know, don't build them. Don't build them with frets. Just do fretless ones for a while until you get the hang of it. And then start, doing, then if you're confident and you're comfortable and you know your guitar's going to play nicely all the way up the neck on the fret, then by all means, you know, then, then get out there and, and, and build them and, and start selling them if you wanted to. But it's it, just my opinion. But I, I just, I was shocked to see a $300 a guitar that was going to sell for up, upwards of $300 potentially to some unsuspecting buyer. It not not cool, man. Not cool. Not cool at all. All right. So that's that's me having having a rant. Okay. Why am I showing you this? I'm showing you this because I'm going to show you that this fret is the first fret. This is the nut. Okay. When you want to build a guitar, now the gentleman who owns who owns this, okay, because he got arthritis, and it's been really difficult. So I've gone for a really nice light set of strings for him. And we're just making sure that this nut is really lovely and nice and low, okay? And he can actually play this. So let's let's have a little look at this. That's the G. Can you see that on the... Oh, it's turned off. All right, there we go. We're back on. I've just strung her up, so let's hopefully she stay in tune. There's the G, and it's a tiny bit sharp. I'm being real pedantic about this. And there's the sharp... There's... There we go. Hang on. There you go. This is, oh, hang on. Sorry. I've got to put on chromatic. <laughs> there's your G. And there's your G sharp. All right. That is that is so close, it's not funny. You can see it? There it is there. There's that G sharp on the first fret. There's your D. There's the first fret D sharp. And that's the G on the high string. And there's the G. Okay. If the nut's too high, this little fella here, you've got to file it down, keep filing it down. Watch your angle. Make sure you've got a downward, downward going angle. Get yourself a set of these if you can. All right, these are, all right, they're not super expensive. You can get them fairly inexpensively. Use these. I've, I've had these for ages. I've, been, I've used them for donkeys. All right, uh, if you're just starting out, you can also use, and I'm not kidding around, okay, you can actually use a triangular file. It actually works. It actually works quite well for a cigar box guitar. It'll work quite well, and it means that you can change out the gauge of strings if you need to pretty easily. You got to file it with a downward angle, okay? You notice I've got a string retainer here behind the nut. This stops your fret buzz, okay? This is a picture frame hanger, claspy hooky thing. Oh, there you go. See that? All right. That's not my invention. 
Daddy Major, I saw them do it, and I had a guitar that had that on it, and they worked beautifully fine. They worked really well. All right? All the way. All in tune, all the way up the neck. All right? That's it. That's my rant. All right? Sorry. It just gets me when I see people doing something like that and it's wrong. It's bloody wrong, I tell you. So don't, you know, don't stand for it. If you see something out there that, that that's just, it's not kosher. I haven't named the person or anything like that. I don't even know whether on the social medias or where they where they were selling, what they were doing. I hope to God they did see see the comments because everyone who commented was about 30, between 37 or 40 something people who commented all agreed. Okay, it's it's... It's not cricket, guys. It's just not cricket. You can't do that to your clients. And you can't do that to people getting into the industry, getting into, not at the industry, but getting into this pastime, you know, and they want to do it and they want to play something nice. They want to play with their friends. They want just something. Can you imagine getting a guitar like that that had frets sitting up like this way and that way? And it would just be a complete cluster, you know what? Not good enough. All right, so that's my rant. Please, 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 before you start selling cigar box guitars that have frets on them, please make sure that you can do it well, you know? And please make, make sure that you can play it. Like, when you play it, give it a good play. And if there's something not right with it, ask us on the ask us on the Facebook group. Ask me on the channel here, you know? Send a comment in or something like that. I'm, I'm happy to help any time through, 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 you know, the, the group. Uh, or here, uh, there's so many wonderful people on, the, on that on our Facebook group who will be more than happy to ask answer any questions for you about fretting your guitar. Um, now, as I said, I've shown you videos before. You don't need the best tools in the world to be able to do it, but you need to, you do need to practice, and you need to make sure that you can get them done. You can get them done squarely, and you can seat them properly. You need the you need a good file. I guarantee the reason that person's gone and cocked that job up is because they've used the wrong file. And they haven't bothered, they don't understand, maybe it's because they don't understand the principle of actually understanding how they're fretted, why we fret them the way we do, the, the difference of the, the, the measurements, why the measurements have to be so correct, why they have to be so precise, why they have to be perpendicular to each other. Um, you know, that's what we're here for. Ask these questions, guys. Ask the questions. You know, I wouldn't have been surprised. I wouldn't have been upset if I saw it on there for 50 bucks or $100 or something like that. Even then, I would have gone, ooh, okay, 100 bucks, yeah. Uh, but for $250, sorry, it's a, a million drop the F-bomb. That's a bloody rot, okay? I'm sorry. Anyway, it's me. I'm going to go. It's my rant for the week. <laughs> I won't have another one. If you disagree with me, guys, disagree. You know, tell me in the comments. Let me know if I'm being, if I'm being an a-hole, but... Would you be happy if you got that guitar? I'm just asking. All right. Have a good one. Adam, the Cigar Box Guitar Builder, or one of many. Take it easy. Bye.